Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jim, what Dugan thinks is the name of the channel. I'm still screwing around with stuff, trying to figure out where the cameras are. I've actually got one, two, three, four, five cameras, and it's probably overkill. I understand that. Hope you guys are having a great Thanksgiving 2023. For prosperity, I just threw the year out there because maybe somebody will see this when it's on the moon and living there and bored one day, right? Coffee time. Got some knives for you guys I want to look at. And let's see if I can get you to that area. Whoops. Let's see how this is going to work. Bear with me, please. All right. So I can remove that, remove that, put that back, put that up there. There we go. We got the knives of me in the corner. I'm trying to be like Tri-State. This is the chaos. This is my most expensive knife. And I have a little buyer's remorse, but I, I got to say that it's a fantastic knife. It's a lot bigger and heavier than I thought it was going to be. It's nowhere near close to what I thought it would be. And then I've got this, uh, this is a Kubi. Where's the box for Mr. Kubi? I don't know the name of this one. I can only front flip it, not front flip it, thumb flick it, lack of a better term. Uh, and this is my old cricket from Vortec. And the reason it's here is I love it. Let's get these back in frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the old scale up here. Not the scale, but the tester deal. The thingamajiggy, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to widen this out. I know that you guys are going to see that blinking light. And maybe I'll put something over it. And maybe not. Let's see here. Make it that kind of blows out the camera but I'll just stick that over there so you guys aren't having to look at that. I built this desk. I'm going to have to remodify it a little bit. It's a little, little tight for space. Here's some of the little do -wassies. At any rate, I'm just curious. I'm sure that maybe you guys are too. And let's see what this little guy tells us. Tear it out. At any rate, you put one of these little boogers in here. Now I need to tear it. So this is the chaos. And who makes this? You guys know better than I do. I, I, I'm not good at this. I just like collecting them. Steels aren't important to me either. And let's see what we got. One, six, seven. So on a 167 on a brand new knife, is that good, bad, or indifferent? Well, it's sharper than a utility razor blade. So I'd say that's pretty damn sharp. And that's about where I expected that to be with that knife. So that's no surprise there. Let's see here. Let's throw this baby in. And let's do the Kubi. I love the Altum. Oh, interesting. That says 241, which still puts it underneath a new high edge cutlery edge. I bet if I strop it, it would come up a little bit. But again, I'm a collector. I don't really use them that often. Now, this one I use every day. I've had it about a year now, and this action's incredible. Just look at this thing. Talk about drop shutty. I mean, and it's a $20 knife, guys, and I love this knife. Just listen to this. Incredible. So let's see what this baby does. Now, I've been using this, like I said, for about a year. As you can see, it's got glue and residue and stuff on it. And I have not done a thing to it, sharpening or otherwise. And let's just see where she winds up. Three fifty-two. Now I didn't expect it to be sharp. At three 
52, she's still in the new high edge range. When you get to 400, it says edge needs some maintenance. So I'm pretty damn happy with that. I think that's pretty darn cool. I got some other knives here too. Oh, these are some of the crap knives that I did. I think I did a video on these. I'm just curious. This is just a cheap $20 knife. New out of the box. I'm not sure what the brand is. Let me see if I can figure that out for you. Oh, it's here you go. I just bought it because of the blade shape. It's only 440 stainless. Let's just see for chucks and grins where this one winds up. 196, not too shabby. My whole thing with knives is, guys, that I just collect. Matt, I just collect. Trying to get me back on full screen. There I am. At any rate, I just collect knives. I collect guns and knives. I have this gun coming up soon on the channel. I got to get it out to the range. This is the new SIG 320 10 millimeter. It has the built in um, brake on the top, a mini brake. This is my second SIG of the 320 line with the compact, not the compact, but the trigger pack. Oh, and I want you to watch this stupid trigger. I hope you guys can see this okay. This is me going in on this trigger. There's the take up, right? Take up's right there. Did you hear that? I want you to watch it come back out now. Stupid. I mean, just stupid. So, yeah, I'm a knife guy, but I've been a gun guy my whole life. And that's primarily where this channel's at, guns and knives. I'm going to do some cooking, too, and some other things. Trying to get everything set up, get it looking nice. Hope you guys subscribe and join the channel or whatever. I got to get some revenue streams going, not for myself personally. That's not my motivation here. My motivation is just to share things with people. And I just think it's a cool media to do that. I appreciate YouTube allowing us to do that. So with that said, subscribe would be great. I would really appreciate it. The alerts help too, apparently, and all that good stuff. Basically, what I need is to get some uh, Patreon going or something else to offset some of this cost. But again, if that doesn't happen, cool too. Mm. Happy Turkey Day again, 2023. My name's Jim. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Look forward to the next video. Yeah, I'm looking for somewhere to click on the damn screen to figure out how to shut this video down. Peace out.